Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another edition of the Early Bird Special, where we go over my early takes on who I believe has a great chance of being upgraded at the next roster upgrade and get in now at the ground floor so you can make as big of a profit as you possibly can. Right after a roster update is the best time to invest. Prices are at the lowest after everybody's selling all their cards. You can get so many cards at current quick sell value, making it so your investments are pretty much a non-risk. So let's get into my picks for roster update number three. So the first player we're talking about is the hottest hitter in baseball right now, Luis Robert Jr. Now, if you look at his year totals, he's hitting 275, 335 on base, 562 slug for an overall 897 OPS. Not bad, pretty decent if I do say so myself. But in his last 15 games, he's doing absolutely amazing things. Hitting 413 with a 509 on base percentage, a 913 slugging, and a 1422 OPS. Absolutely disgusting right now. His overall numbers against righties aren't amazing, aren't amazing. His power numbers are pretty decent. And against left-hand pitching, though, he's absolutely crushing the ball. He should probably see a slight upgrade in overall against right-handedness, mainly in the power department, maybe a little decrease in the contact if things keep going the way they're going. But to be honest with you, he had been hitting so poorly against right-hand pitching earlier in the year, and he's hitting so well against them now because he's just hitting everything. There's a good chance he goes up a little bit across the board if he keeps playing the way he's playing right now. Against left-handed pitching, he's absolutely crushing them. With a 375 batting average, 500 on base percentage, a 792 slugging, which is almost unheard of, and a 1292 OPS. At any time you want to look at these stats, just pause the video and take a look right here. Now, if we just scroll down a little bit and we look at Robert's attributes, you can see that although his stats are already very high against lefties, they should continue to get a bump with just how amazing he's doing against left-handed pitching. This year, he may be close to a maxed out player in contact and pretty high up there against lefties in the power department. I do think he's also going to get an upgrade in power versus right. Is it going to be plus 45 like a supercharged? Absolutely not, but he may go up to about a 70 or so. And his contact is probably going to stay around the same. It might bump up a little tiny bit because he's been pretty good against them recently but overall he is a very good chance of getting upgraded to at least an 84 possibly a diamond if he continues this up one thing that is holding him back a little bit is his throwing accuracy and his reaction are really poor i'm not sure that sds will give him a boost on his actual card in the next update they generally wait to do an actual defensive upgrade somewhere usually around the all-star break so that's more than likely when we'll see it which may keep him from reaching a diamond unless he continues to hit exactly like this for the next two and a half weeks but i do think he's a great investment to go on right now if we look at his price point he's currently going for 757 as i'm recording this on monday morning i have already over 100 Luis Roberts, and i think he's one that you should get in on now if you want to make sure you don't miss any early bird tips make sure that you click that subscribe and notification bell so you know exactly when these videos go live so you can get in on the investments as quickly as possible also if you're enjoying this kind of content and you find it helpful click that like button it helps my channel out greatly and it really costs you nothing back to the video our next guy on the list is no other than ronald acuna jr who in my opinion got quite shafted on the last update and i think they're going to make it up to him on this next one look at these statistics for the year he's hitting 346 with a 437 on base a 577 slugging at 1014 ops over his last 15 he's slowed a little bit at 315 415 593 and a 1008 ops overall so not much of a slip up at all against right hand pitching and left hand pitching they're very very close he's hitting both sides more or less the same 345 batting average, 427 on base, 584 slug, and a 111 OPS against right and against left. A 349 average with a 462 on base percentage, 558 slugging, and a 1020 OPS. Now, if we scroll down here and we look at Acuna's attributes, we can see that they're definitely doing him quite a bit dirty here, especially when we're thinking about Fernando Tatis. Fernando Tatis has an 800 OPS, and they upgraded him to a 91 overall. And Acuna has better defense than he does. So it, it's quite curious that they did that. And I don't think the speed is holding him up all that much. And I do think they need to bump up Ronald Acuna's speed now that he's a couple of years off that knee injury, that ACL tear, because he has 17 steals and he's only been caught stealing twice. So I do think they're going to bump up his steal and his speed. Speed they might wait a little bit on because sometimes they do, but I think they're doing him dirty. And I think they may just bump his speed up as well as that stealing. 
but honestly he's going to get upgraded across the board in my opinion i'm still it's still curious to me why they did not do it on the last update because we look at these attributes here 95 90 in the contacts i think those should both be closer to 100 at this point because he's been hitting 350 against both sides for pretty much the entire season both of his power should honestly be approaching 90 at this point the guy has the track record so it's very curious to why it's like that plus he's not really striking out all that much this year he's got over 140 at bats and he has 24 strikeouts so i think his vision should probably be bumped as well as well as his discipline and probably his clutch i, I feel like he can get upgraded across the board he's having a, a fantastic mvp caliber season and they're gonna need to upgrade him and they're gonna need to upgrade him big now when we look at his price point yeah he may not be the best to invest into now that depends on your perspective here if you think he's gonna go up to a 92 93 something along those lines maybe he can get up to like a 50k kind of deal or maybe he'll shoot up at some point i don't know i figure most people probably have the braves collection done at this point and if you don't have the collection done at this point i definitely would say buy this card now in terms of investing i'm not going to be investing in this card mainly because i don't see how much i can actually make off this card because i don't think it's going to all of a sudden become a 100k card i i highly doubt that will happen so it's kind of a big risk to invest but if you haven't bought this card yet buy him now because he's just going to get more expensive next on the list continuing his stellar season is my boy zach gallon zach has lowered his season era to a 2.35 with a 0.85 whip which is super impressive but what's really impressive is what he's done over the last seven games he's had three bad starts this season including his first two starts and one that was two starts ago but other than that he's been pretty much untouchable his last seven games he has an era of 1.16 a nice whip of 69 only giving up 28 hits only four walks and 60 k's for nine now we look down at his attributes and everything is gonna get an increase across the board everything is going to get an absolute increase. His pitching clutch is going to go up. His hits per nine are going to go up. His walks per nine are going to shoot up. His Ks per nine are going to shoot up. That's probably the one that's going to shoot up the most. It's like 40, 46 innings pitched, I believe, in 60 Ks in the last uh, seven games. He's, he's doing absolutely amazing things, much better than a 74 Ks per nine. And he's going to probably go up to a 90 overall. So you get it with him now. He's, he's selling for 5,600 stubs. He's going to probably go up to at least 8K, possibly 10K stubs, and you're just going to make a ton on this card. Invest in this card now. I sold most of my Zach Gallons after the last update. I've been buying them again because you're still going to make an absolute killing by investing in this card. Next guy on the list, another Cuban who's absolutely killing the ball right now, Lourdes Guriel Jr. Let's take a look at his stats here. Lourdes is absolutely killing the ball. Let's look at his, his overall throughout the year. He's hitting 309 with a 371 on base percentage, a 537 slugging percentage, and a 908 OPS. Fantastic numbers. Absolutely fantastic numbers. But let's dive into his more recent statistics where he's just absolutely tearing the cover off the ball. Almost as good as Luis right now. Last 15 games, he's a 380 average with a 483 on base percentage, 780 slugging percentage, and a 1263 OPS. Now, he's hitting both righties and lefties beautifully throughout the year one his against left he's been hitting for a higher average against right he's hitting for higher power now if you can see the breakdown right there once again if you need to pause you want to see the breakdowns go pause it but it also looks like sds is going a lot more on recent performances more so than the three-year average at this point since they have more data for this year and it looks like they're going to heavily weight that more early in the season than they normally do so let's just take a look over here at his attributes and why i think he's going to easily jump up to an 80 possibly more so his power against righties is only a 68 so that is going to most certainly increase because all his home runs are against him almost all his extra base hits are against righties now against lefties his power may not go up very much if at all but in his contact should go up a little bit but against righties i think his contact is going to stay at about the same but that power is going to get a huge jump he also has okay defense overall not good fielding and not good reaction but a decent arm which should help keep his overall, you know, more or less neutral. So, Lourdes Goriel, the best thing about him right now is his price, 202. Actually, all those orders in there for 202 buy orders are from me. I'm trying to get a thousand. I was almost debating, like, should I share this? 
this card's going to explode. But you know what? I love everybody here, and I want you all to make a ton of stubs. So invest in Lord S. Goriel Jr. now while he's super cheap. Even if he only goes to a gold, you're going to be doubling your stubs. Hop on it now. Our next guy who's a great investment is Salvador Perez, having a nice little comeback season after having a down year, after having two fantastic seasons for the Royals. He was having a relatively slow start to this season too, but his last two weeks have been absolutely disgusting. We're going to talk about how he has nine home runs in the year, but he has seven in the last 15 games. Now we look at Salvi's year totals. They're actually really, really good. Very, very, so extremely solid for a catcher. 293 batting average, 338 on base, 537 slugging and an 875 OPS. Now let's look at the last 15 games. A whopping 368 batting average, 406 on base, 772 slugging and a 1.178 OPS. Now, that is fantastic on its own. Just knowing that he has seven home runs in the last 15 games, this card is probably going to shoot up quite a bit. His offensive stats are pretty good. His defensive stats are not very good. With that being said, although defense is very important for, for catchers, it also doesn't hurt their overall too much when it's not. But when it's high, oh my goodness, does it shoot through. Like He's an 82 overall right here with this pretty common defense here. So I'd be shocked if he doesn't go at least to an 84. He keeps continuing even a similar amount of production. But uh, yeah, you can see the stats here on the screen. They're they're absolutely fantastic. And we look at his attributes down here. You see he does have quite a little bit of room for growth, especially based upon this torrid streak that he's been going on over the last two weeks. So I'm looking for Salvi to get upgraded pretty decently. Next guy on our list is Juan Soto. He's having a little bit of a resurgence over the last two weeks. I think he's actually starting to figure it out and uh i think he's I think he's gonna be back so although his overall numbers on the year aren't looking too fantastic right now they're formidable not so much against left but pretty damn formidable against right he's been getting significantly better against both handed pitchers throughout the last two weeks and i think he's back and i would say hop in on it now worst case scenario you know you lose a few stubs on him but He's so hot right now, I think he's found himself again. We look at his overall numbers for the year. He's hitting 293 with a 338 on base, a 537 slugging, and an 875 OPS. Very true, but let's look at him over the last two weeks. 370 batting average, a 507 on base, a 704 slugging, and a 1211 OPS. Absolutely tearing the cover off the ball. Now against the right, 296, 452, 582, and a 1034 OPS. But as we were just talking about, He's doing amazing things recently, absolutely on fire. You need to hop on Juan Soto now before he goes diamond. He has the track record. He's one of the best hitters of the last five years. I don't think they're going to wait too long to upgrade him. He's had a tough time about the last year, but it looks like he's finally putting it back together. And I think you should hop on this card now. We take a look at his attributes here against right he's pretty decent i think that is also going to increase against lefties i think they may not be so fast to touch that so much so quickly but i do think soto is going to get an upgrade if he keeps playing like this may it only be a 284 it's possible and right now if we're looking at his current price point that would be a loss if he does only go up to an 84 overall but if he does go up to an 85 overall and if he continues to have a 1200 ops for the next two weeks he more than certainly will go up to at least an 85 overall and you'll be making a lot of stubs i have about 50 of them right now i'm going to try to get to 100 of them our next guy on the list is the diamondbacks first baseman yes another diamondback christian walker is having an absolutely fantastic season and he's a fantastic fielder which makes it that much easier for him to get upgraded all right so his year total is hitting 264 with a 327 on base a 507 slug and an 834 ops not too shabby but the last 15 games 321 batting average 415 on base a 696 slugging and a 1111 ops look at all them ones Against right-hand pitching, he's not hitting as well as he is against left-handed pitching, but he's still hitting 250, the 306 on base percentage, a 420 slug, and a 726 OPS. It's not great, but it's respectable, and his attributes kind of reflect that. So I don't think you're going to see too much happen on his right-hand side, but against his left-hand side, he's hitting 295 with a 373 on base percentage, a 705 slugging, and a 1078 OPS. Now, now let's take a look at his attributes here. You can see why I think his right-handed stuff is probably going to stay about the same. He might even get a slight decrease in those attributes, but against left, he's definitely overperforming these attributes. So I think he's going to get a nice bump against these. 79 contact versus left and 84 power against left. They're nothing to sneeze at, but he's playing well above that for the entire season. So I'm going to expect nice jumps 
on his contact versus left and his power against left, as well as possibly his vision, because he hasn't really been striking out all that much this year. So this video is going a little bit longer than I originally anticipated. So because of that, we're going to have a part two coming out on Thursday. Look forward in your subscriptions box, and I'll catch you then.